From a Lego brick you could only find in a single store, to a Lego minifigure that is so rare most people argue whether it's even real. These are Lego items you will never own. And let's start with this truly unique Lego piece that could only be found in the Lego store in Dublin, Ireland. Potentially one of the smallest Lego stores in the world, the Lego store Dublin is not quite as popular with Lego fans as the new ones in New York and other large cities throughout the world. However, when this store first opened, it came with a truly unique Lego piece for only 24 hours. This is the iHeart Lego store Dublin 2 by four tile. A weird but somehow charming piece that you could only get right as the Lego store opened in 2022. The problem with this is that Ireland still had some COVID restrictions in 2022 and as such not everyone was able to get their hands on this Lego piece. And the piece is only two years old. So imagine how much harder this next Lego item is to find as it was released almost 40 years ago. This is the 14 karat solid gold 2 by 4 Lego brick. Now you might be thinking, surely a gold Lego brick like this would have been a huge hit with fans across the world. So why is it hard to come across? Well, the 14 karat gold Lego brick was never actually sold to the general public. Instead, these were handed out to Lego employees that had been at the company for at least 25 years, which at the time was a pretty large portion of the company. As a result of this, this Lego piece has become the most expensive Lego brick in the world. With only very few of them being made, this gold Lego brick can now sell for anywhere up to $20,000. But this price tag makes a lot of sense since the brick was super hard to make and expensive too. And from one golden item to another. Up next, we have everyone's favorite golden suit and minifigure. Mr. Gold truly needs no introduction. This rare minifigure was a part of the Series 10 minifigure surprise bags back in the year 2013 and instantly became one of the most sought after minifigures in the world. As a result of the extreme rarity and high price tag, Mr. Gold became one of the most faked Lego items in history. Oh man. <laughs> So much so that now finding one of these real Mr. Golds can be extremely difficult, and it only adds the rarity to the minifigure. Getting your hands on a Mr. Gold nowadays would set you back anywhere from $7,000 to $10,000. But so far, all of these LEGO items' rarity make a lot of sense. This next item definitely does not. When you think of viable LEGO items from LEGO Star Wars, you may look at items like White Bobo Fett, or even some of the older LEGO Star Wars sets. But I bet you would not expect one of the rarest items from LEGO Star Wars to be a... Uh, windscreen? Well, that is exactly what our next rare LEGO item is, a curved windscreen. The windscreen only ever appeared in a single set, being LEGO Star Wars 75060 Slave 1. The windscreen being the most expensive part of this set really makes no sense. However, this was a part of the LEGO Star Wars Ultimate Collector series, meaning that the set had some scarcity to it. Nowadays, getting your hands on this little curved piece of plastic will cost you 200 bucks. Really? For a piece of plastic? But you know what's way worse than spending $200 on a piece of plastic? Spending $200? on a small piece of fabric. Lando Calrissian is a fan favorite Star Wars and Lego Star Wars character and was the first instance of a Lego minifigure having the likeness of a real person. And one of the most expensive Lego Star Wars sets ever, the Star Wars Cloud City set, you were able to get this Lando Calrissian with a cape and all. And it is this very cape that you can now get for $200. This cape's cloth allowed for much greater movement and flexibility with the plastic capes at the time and changed the way Lego made capes going forward. This is why the piece has become as sought after as this. That and its unique color scheme. But is it worth 200 bucks? Probably not. And to be fair, LEGO Star Wars pieces are always going to be some of the most expensive LEGO items ever. But sometimes it's the pieces that you don't expect to be so rare that become one of the rarest LEGO items. This is what I think happened with the LEGO Dish. The 6x6 radar LEGO piece from the LEGO Star Wars set Vader's TIE Fighter. Now to the untrained eye, you may even miss this next LEGO item. But it's actually the dish on top of the TIE Fighter that has become one of the most valuable pieces out of the lego star wars series since this dish only appeared in the one lego star wars set it has become really quite valuable with it nowadays costing around 160 dollars just to get a circular lego piece not worth it if you ask me okay okay that is enough about lego star wars instead let's look at one of the lego's less popular ips lego bionicle now lego bionicle was of course popular and actually its popularity is a large reason why the discontinuing of this set was just so controversial i mean the bionicle set even had a movie I am serious. Lego Bionicle had a movie and had some tie-in sets to the movie. This is where our next rare Lego item comes from. Since there was one set that contained an adversary from the movie which had an awesome looking mask. This is the Bionicle Mask Crackon Movie Edition. From the Lego Bionicle set, Lego Bionicle 10201, Taku Tanuva. In the movie, this mask is worn by the big baddie Makuta, and as such, the set was released as a set based on the movie. Unfortunately though, the movie did not perform exceptionally well. It was fine, but not as well as
as LEGO hoped for, and as such, the set faded away into irrelevancy. Eventually, Bionicle was discontinued, and the mini sets and pieces became way more expensive. With these sets nowadays being worth a lot of money, this mask in particular nowadays can sell from anywhere between $120 to $150 for literally just one piece of plastic. And this is not the only LEGO Bionicle item on our list, as up next we have the Galley Mask 1. This item, believe it or not, came out in 2015, five years after the discontinuation of Bionicle. But then, why was this released? Well, the item was actually given out to attendees of the 2015 LEGO Inside Tour, an exclusive and in-demand event that gave people a three-day tour into the world of LEGO. The tour was extremely exclusive, having a high price tag and very few slots. This galley mask was one of the items given out to attendees of the LEGO Inside Tour. Bionicles was discontinued because it strayed a bit too much from what conventional LEGO is nowadays and how it's viewed as, with weird connections that were not quite as detailed as Technic, but not simple enough for regular LEGO. LEGO sets. And Weird Connections actually is a reoccurring theme with this next LEGO item. A beautiful light blue dolphin? Yeah, that's right. Does anyone here remember LEGO Scala? No? Well, it was basically a LEGO Friends before LEGO Friends existed. LEGO Scala! Intended to be a type of LEGO aimed towards young girls, LEGO Scala was going to be LEGO's next biggest hit after Duplo, Technic, and of course LEGO. And one of these sets was the LEGO Scala 3117 Flashy Pool. Now this set is by no means an interesting set, but it does include one of the rarest LEGO items ever. This LEGO Dolphin. But why is this LEGO Dolphin so hard to come across? Well, the marine mammal was only found in this one set and has a bit of a weird connection at the bottom. You see, this LEGO Dolphin was a very awkward size. The hole is too narrow to accept two studs that would normally be used for a connection, and it was also too small for a Technic Axle. As such, this is one of the only pieces of LEGO in existence that have a connection that strays from LEGO's design principles, only adding to its value. Nowadays, purchasing this Dolphin would set you back about 120 bucks, and that if you can even find one since they are that rare. And from one animal to another, we had this Lego goat. Released in 2011 as part of the Lego Mill Village Raid, this goat is the most unique Lego goat ever made. And some might even say I'm the goat. See what I did there? <laughs> After first appearing in 2011, the goat with dark tan horns and medium nougat spots are never seen again. LEGO did release some similar looking goats, however they were part of Duplo as opposed to LEGO, meaning that LEGO took the design from one of their LEGO sets and adapted it to Duplo, meaning we may never see a goat like this in a LEGO set ever again. And this is largely why the price is surprisingly high, with this goat selling nowadays for 120 bucks, which if you ask me is ridiculous. But now let's move on from animals, to inside a LEGO item that really has no reason to be as expensive as it is. Back in the late 80s and early 90s, the LEGO monorail system was booming and becoming very popular. But then suddenly, they just vanished. Nobody really knows why the theme just stopped being produced, and with its retirement, there was one particular piece that became very popular. The monorail motor cover. This piece is a small plastic piece used to protect a motor on the LEGO monorail train set. But the weirdest part about it is that it appeared in a set that was connected to the monorail, despite being such an important piece for the theme. The monorail motor cover only appeared in the LEGO Town Airport shuttle set, which has long since been retired, making this piece nowadays worth about 75 bucks. Now, all these pieces are actually kind of small and kind of boring, but I have a question for you to help that. Does anyone remember LEGO base plates? LEGO base plates have become a bit of an enigma. LEGO base plates have somewhat vanished. Lots of older sets used to be released with them all the time, particularly those of buildings, but nowadays they have become a little harder to find. At least base plates like this next rare LEGO item. The raised 32 by 32 Canyon base plate is one of the most detailed and elusive base plates to ever be made, featuring a raised mountainous area as part of the Dark Forest Fortress set. Besides only ever appearing in one set, the main reason this item is so rare and so expensive is because of this raised terrain making it a favorite for LEGO builders around the world. The cannon is a must-have, and nowadays you can if you are lucky enough to get one for 77 bucks, but they are still very hard to find. The only sets I really see having base plates nowadays are the modular builds, and sometimes even these sets can have some incredibly high priced lego pieces but one that really makes no sense is the right shop door from the first few modular builds this price tag on this first ever modular build is super high and as such almost every price in the sets has a pretty high price tag with it nowadays but the right shop door really should not this particular door opens to the right and with it only appearing in six sets the door nowadays resells for 50 bucks really for a door but you know what they say when one door closes another one open and i think you should close the door right now and open a new one by subscribing. 